Five tips for the ultimate workbench light setup. Tip number one, put up more lights. My original bench had a single 100 watt light bulb in a can hooked to my pegboard. I had one cone of light. It should feel more like a major league baseball game where you're walking in, the lights come on. If you build it, they will come. There's a company called Onfuru that sells 30 watt RGB W floodlight. The RGB stands for red, green, blue, and W is white. It gives you the full spectrum of lights and those all can mix together. So it gives you the primary colors of and white light. So you can have warm white and daylight white and they're programmable so you can mix the colors together. So I put these up two and a half years ago and the 30 watt ones have been discontinued but now they sell a 50 watt model and this one comes with an app for your phone. Tip number two, overlap the lights to decrease your shadows. If you're just using one big heavy spotlight, it'll cast major shadows on the edges of everywhere where that cone of light goes over the edges of it. It also causes glare off of shiny objects. But by using several moderate lights and having them spread out, you get smaller beams of light hitting everything and it tends to fill in the shadows better and you get a lot less glare. My layout is 14 feet across and four feet deep. That includes the shelves. So I put some behind my head at a 45 degree angle and those shoot down and hit the tools and then they reflect back onto the workbench. And then other ones are in about 24 inches and they shoot a beam straight down. But if you measure them, they're about 20 21 inches center to center between those lights and then they're about 23 inches from center to center on the from the back edge to the second set of lights. Tip number three, calculate your amperage so you don't overload your breakers. Most LED lights are pretty low power. Um, in the US our outlets are 120 volts but most circuit breakers allow for 15 amps. If you multiply the volts times the amperage that gives you the wattage. So um, Volts times amps equals wattage so 120 volts times 15 amps equals 1800 watts. That's the maximum load you can put on that circuit. According to the label on my lights, they're about 30 watts using 350 milliamps. So that's 0.35 amps per light fixture. Got a line splitter so I can check the amp draw. The one light plugged in is pulling 0.3 amps. So four of them pulling together pulls 1.1 amps. And check the labels on your equipment to make sure your combined amperage isn't exceeding 1800 watts or 15 amps. I'm using the 15 watt model. So this is four 15 watt lights and then a fifth 15 watt over here. And those are lighting up my paint station. So I've got a paint booth right here. The light and a fan here on a switch. So that blows the air out through a couple of ducts on the side of the house. But that lights this area up really nicely for painting. The side one here is to give me some under light. There was too much of a shadow from these facing down. And that lit up everything else underneath. Tip number four, make sure you check the heat of your lights. Make sure you don't catch anything on fire in your shop. That's the worst thing that can happen. Fires are just a terrible thing and we're probably underinsured most of the time on workshops. I put four sensors on this light assembly. So I've got number one, number two, and then number three dangling over the top and number four touching the wood up there. Right now they're all at room temperature. That's a stopwatch start. All right, let's see how hot these get. Just a couple minutes in, you can already see the back is heating up. Five minutes in, about 80 degrees. After two and a half years, the lights on this one finally died. So one out of 16 is not working anymore. About 10 minutes in, and they've gotten up to 92 degrees. Almost 25 minutes in, and we're up to about 110 degrees. Still about 25 minutes in, and this is what the back of this front right one is reading right now. At 32 minutes, we're at 113 degrees. 45 minutes, 120 degrees. All right, we're an hour in now, and about 120 degrees still. So now after an hour and 15 minutes, still sitting at 120 degrees, low 80s above it. I can put my hand on here, and it is, quite warm but it's not so hot that I have to pull my hand away and if I look at it with a, this couple spots where it's coming off at about 130 but up on the wood you know it's still not putting much heat up on up above it onto the wood 
so I don't see any danger of it overheating. And as you can see, it is putting off a little bit of heat above it, but none of those spots are really, really warm at all. Tip number five, check your light output. These lights are pretty close to 48 inches off the top of the workbench. And the first array is directly over the workbench, 48 inches away. I measured, this is about 30 degrees up to the other light, and that's about 53 inches. And I've got this set on Lux right now, and it's giving me 1,769 Lux. I'll put it down here. We're getting down to the end of the workbench where it's not picking up light. Off to the left here, it's dark. So now we're more or less four lights hitting it. Out to the edge where we're on the last two lights, and it's starting to die off a little bit there. Right under the light, it's 23,000. And it must be over 40,000 right up right up in there. Because that's off the scale, and that's a 40K scale. Right here holding this like I would a cell phone, right underneath it, I'm getting about 2,600 lux. Of course, closer to the bench, it drops down. Closer to the lights, it jumps up. But this really is a good working light. You can see everything here. Any shadows that are cast are made up for with other lights there. So anything you're working on really lights up with all those sources of light above it. Bonus tip, tip number six. Consider other uses for your lights. All of these lights come with remote controls, so you can change the color on them. I like warm white, it's a little bit more amber colored, but you can go to day daylight white. And then if you want to get real crazy, you can go to flash mode. And party. It's full of stars. Hello, Dave. What are you doing, Dave? Will I dream? <laughs>